Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a member of Clifton Beach Surf Life Saving Club and I live in Howrah. Hi, I'm Olivia Ede. I'm a local of Seven Mile Beach and I'm the supervisor for the Clifton Lifeguard paid service on the weekdays. So we're just here to have a chat to you about how to stay safe in the surf over this upcoming summer. So now we're just going to go through the FLAGS acronym which would give us some tips to stay safe this summer. So our first letter is F. And this stands for Find the Flags. So Matt, where do you find the flags at Clifton? Olivia, you'll find the flags at Clifton Beach at the south end, end of the beach. And they're up at the uh, start of December on Saturdays and Sundays all the way through till the end of March. And also on the weekdays with the paid service, you find them from nine to five. And if you're surfing on surfboards or any other uh, hard surfing equipment, it's good to keep outside those flags just for the safety of the people that are swimming within the flags. Isn't that right, Olivia? Yeah, that's right. And if you were to come to the beach and you see the flags crossed or the red flags up, that means the beach is closed and no one can swim. L. L stands for look for the signs when you come to the beach. Uh, at Clifton, every time there's a patrol on down here, we have a patrol sign that is out the front of the clubhouse explaining the conditions, uh, the temperature, anything to look out for, any particular dangers. And it's really important that you read this when you come to the beach. There's also other signage around the beach, which Olivia, you can tell us about. Thanks, Matt. So um, that other signage just includes safety signs, such as about dangerous surf, rocks, uh, times the dogs are allowed on the beach. And this season, we'll also have a check-in sign for COVID. So just make sure every time you rock up to the beach that you're checking in with your phone. So our next letter is A, and that's for asking questions. So Matt, what sort of questions could you ask a lifesaver at the beach? Well, Olivia, you can ask the lifesavers any questions you like, really. but the the ones we get most are, would be uh, where's the rip, where's the safest place to swim, which of course is between the flags, but also other things like have we got sunscreen, um, what's the best way to enter the beach or exit the beach, and any other dangers generally we can, uh, we can make sure we point out and, uh, and hopefully answer all the questions that, that come, come our way. Hmm. And I think the thing to add there is if we don't know the answer to the question, we'll be able to find out from a local that we know or other people on the patrol. Absolutely. Great call, Olivia. So the next letter is G. G stands for going to the beach with someone. Olivia, who would you generally go to the beach with? Uh, I generally go with someone I trust who I know is going to look after me if I get in a spot of trouble. So always going with someone that's over 18 and that will be able to look after you. That's good. And it makes it more fun as well, doesn't it? Exactly. The last letter is S, which stands for signalling for help. This is one of the most important aspects of being at the beach, and knowing how to signal for help is very, very important. Olivia, can you show us the right way to uh, signal for help if you're getting to strife at the beach? <laughs> yeah. So you put your arm above your head and you want to wave it about with a closed fist. We don't do that because otherwise people think you're just waving hello and they won't come out and help you. So again, it's a closed fist wave above your head. So Matt, what would you do say you saw someone giving that signal and you were standing on the beach? If you saw someone giving that signal, Olivia, firstly you go to a lifesaver and the lifesaver is going to be the best place to go straight away because we've got the equipment and expertise to be able to help people in trouble. But if you're in the position where there's no lifesavers on the beach, you need to be very careful not to go to the aid of others and put yourself in jeopardy. Uh, therefore, if there may be a local with watercraft such as a surfboard or boogie board who can assist safely, then that's certainly a good option. And also, of course, dialing triple zero to get assistance uh, with something in or out of the water as quickly as possible is a great way to go as well. So Olivia, let's recap on what we've spoken about today. F. Find the flags. L stands for? Looking for science. A. Ask questions. G. Go with a friend. And S. Signal. And so just another important thing before going to the beach this summer, double, remember to double check the Beach Safe website. So that's beachsafe.org.au and that'll have which beaches are patrolled in Tasmania and also the conditions of the beaches. That's great. Thanks, Olivia. Well, the important part is to enjoy the beach safely this summer and we really appreciate you listening and have a great summer and get to the beach. Cheers. <laughs>